Ready? Uh, Here we go. Blowing nuts part three. You can see part two was successful. It made it indoors. It's on the lift. And it doesn't smell so bad. I don't know about that. <laughs> So I got the guys over here. Yeah. This is like the last chance for two weeks because we have the world traveler <laughs> and we have the local traveler who's basically going to be gone until I leave for Princeton. So we're all going somewhere. Yeah. Sort of. Busy. So, so we, we decided, uh, oh, it's a Monday night. We were just working on, uh, we just finished up the TXL two days ago and uh, we're going to start on this. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are wondering. Why wasn't there an Indy 500 motor on the Princeton wish list? Oh, oh look at that. Look at that. Came from the same guy that sold us Lonnie's motor. So, uh, and it's uh, in similar condition. And so, out. so uh, I'm just grinning after yeah. the TXL uh, episode. If this thing runs that good, I'll be real happy. Absolutely. So, the one thing you'll notice, this is a newer motor. It doesn't have the uh, radiator cap here, and it's got a plastic recoil and the newer CDI. I am not sure what I'm going to change out other than I have to change the cylinder head to the old cylinder head for the cooling system. So anyways, you're probably worried, oh, I wanted to see him fix that motor, the other motor that's stuck. Okay. We're going we're gonna to do that too. Yeah. That's going to happen. But it'll be later. It'll probably be after this thing's running. I don't know. Some random point in the future. <laughs> yeah. So. It's just one more project. Just one more project because there's no shortage of projects. <laughs> so and, and after I put out that list of projects, I kept getting reminded of other projects. Like, oh, great. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So, uh, yeah, there's no shortage. So, uh, anyways. So what are we going to do? Tonight, we're going to tear it down a ways gonna get the track skid drive shaft chain case out of it not sure if we know um, how to do that seat gas tank we're just gonna clean the carbs <laughs> we're gonna clean the carbs all it needs is a good carb cleaning right <laughs> motor stuck but just it really just needs the carbs clean because it ran when it was parked seven years ago <laughs> yeah, actually more like well what's the sticker say oh one oh we're like 22 one? years ago <laughs> yeah wow. so Been a minute. Uh, yeah so, we're going to get after it, and uh, we'll bring you along for the ride. It, this is bad. We're, uh, we're pulling <laughs> it apart, oh, yeah. and look at this. The paint is still on this bracket. No way. What? That's pretty unusual for me. But uh, So, this is a plastic tank. We knew that. A couple of you made suggestions, like how to de-rust it. Well, it's not about rust. I mean, there is rust in there. It's just a little. It's about, it's about tar. So, uh, there's a bunch of, you can see, there's a bunch of tar in the bottom. Must have parked it full of fuel. Something. That's what I'm thinking. They yeah. parked it when it was full. But God. the good news is, there's a nice guy uh, named Wes that's bringing me a tank to the Princeton swap, which will have probably already happened by the time you see this. Well, show, show us this bracket. Look at that. Still have, the, still have the foam gasket inside there. I see new old stock that was in that bad of shape. <laughs> Wow, that's crazy. Look at all the speed nuts are still there. Too bad that tank is polluted inside. I mean, we'll oh. pressure wash it if we gotta, but, you know, rather not. What'd you, what'd you find in this? I see. I see walnuts. You're well, kidding me. No not, way. Right in there. I didn't get them all? Nope. As soon as we pull that chain case loose, we'll find walnuts. The exorcism was incomplete. <laughs> Skid stuck. We what? better get the gentle persuader. Uh-oh. Why is she stuck like that? She's ribbit. Stuck. Probably on a ribbit. Oh, oh, oh. She's stuck on something real good. Huh. <laughs> what the hell? She's definitely stuck Can't on something see real good. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think it's just ribbit. It's I think it's, no, I think it's catching on the edge of the coolers. Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. Holy cow! 
Yeah, it's actually catching right on the edge of the cooler. All right, well, we know how to get rid of, get that out. All right, coming back. <sighs> oh, and then that's, there that's you how you do it. You got to mm -hmm. twist it. I have never wow. had to do that. That's crazy. <sighs> All right, well. Well, there you go. Move that. That's a big twist to get it out. Well, all's well that ends well. Here, Ronnie, shine the light up in there, and Dennis can show them what, what the deal is. Look at, get up above. Up, up above, above here, Ronnie. Wow. Show that. Look at, look at how far those cooler fins stick out. Yeah, that's where we're catching right there. Yeah. Yeah. We would have no. never got through that. No. Nope. Yeah. Alright. I've never encountered that on an indie before. Something new. Yeah. At another speed shop. A little, cute, a little wobbly. Skids out for five seconds and the wheel master is checking the wheels. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably going to get all new bearings. It's not that expensive. Hey, but does this... Everything's came apart good, but does this turn? No. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> What? When's the last time you saw a dial adjust that moved? Oh my god. Holy cow, they're usually rusted solid. That is awesome. Just getting this detail on the video. Uh, look at the uh, P-clamp on the hose on one of the cover bolts. Don't see that too often. I will uh, do my best to get that back there when I'm done. Yeah, just... Like always, these old vinyl covered lines are no good. So I'll be purchasing a line at Princeton. Probably from my friend Swap Meat Bob. He usually has a line for me. Did you check to see if there's fluid in there? I don't know. I'm going to take it loose at the other end now, too. Some fluid in it because I was able to get the oh, yeah. brakes to hold. Yeah, it has fluid. But I'm going to rebuild the master cylinder because it was stuck when I picked this thing up from Tim. So, uh, why would I not? I mean, it doesn't cost but a few pennies to rebuild the master. Ah, we can leave it stuck on there like that. All right. All right, pop her off, Ron. Hmm. Hmm. Why not? She'll pop. I'm going to suggest the same thing, but longer. Oh, God. <laughs> The, the gentle persuader. Yeah. The big Jimmy bar. <laughs> the Everybody gentle. stand back. <laughs> bolt the last, it's stuck there on that go. last bolt. Oh, oh. Can you get that last? Shove it through. Can't get my hand in there. Hold on. Come on. There we go. All right. All right. Oh, look at the walnuts in there. Oh, we got a mess back there? We got walnuts. Oh, we yeah. still got walnuts. The red rag's fresh. The walnuts, <laughs> not so much. Not so fresh. <laughs> Those walnuts are definitely not so fresh. Yeah. Well, yeah. this will be fun to edit. First really bad thing we found, other than the gas tank and the motor, yeah, that bearing's bad. Looks like rust coming out of it, rust-colored grease. So uh, we're just going to cut that off. I know, right? <laughs> Come on. The big one. I'm not sure. You could get in there. All right. There you go. Yeah. Look at how rusty it is. Yeah, don't touch it. This part's not too bad. Yeah, that might... Uh... Pretty rusty, pretty crusty, pretty dried up. Yeah. Need to be changed. Not to be rolling on that roller. Nope. Oh. What do you got going on there, Dennis? Check this out. Nest? No, no. What? We got spark plugs. 
Oh, they've been yeah. changed out once. That's All right. Looks. Jesus. Is that the foam is still oh, in it? It's still uh, in there. It's degraded. degraded. Oh, look at that. You got a is nice Is that the wrench? whole tool set? The whole tool, the whole tool, set. tool set. Holy crap. What's in the middle? Is this just a handle? Just, look at yeah, that. You got the handle. You got a, look at that. Phillips screwdriver. You got the other wrench. What's the strap for? Yeah. That's when your recoil breaks. Oh. oh. Hey now, look at that! You got the you got the smaller spark plug and wrench. You even got fuses. Fuses. Fuses for the heated visor that this thing had. What the? That's, yeah, that's, that's what this here. box was, Lon. Yep. Look at that! You got a gold wrench in there. Well, it's got to be 12. ten and a twelve. What's that one? What's that one for? Yeah, what would they do here? They're just metric wrenches. Because back in the eighties, nobody had metric wrenches. You would do that. Look at that. Gives you a little. Leverage. Yeah, that box is nice. never. Nice. How clean that That's is. Never. I know that. I was <laughs> expecting to find walnuts. <laughs> I thought a mouse nest, but yeah. Yeah, that's the heat advisor. Back that in the is day. awesome, man. Back High in the day. and low, even. Oh, that helps. So yeah. here's a later thing. See this big washer? This big washer. I've done this mod to a lot of earlier TXs. And uh, what it does is it keeps your brake rotor from walking over and locking up. So that's a cool thing to see that that's still in there. That was an original piece to this sled. So I don't know if I can just use my snap ring pliers. We will get that off. Here's this big washer I'm talking about. It's like a big giant machinery bushing with a keyway in it. And then the rotor should come right off but it isn't because it's stuck so we need a soft hammer wow, that, that thing is on really good there we go there we go super yeah. tight this is like a prize we like that it's like a prize the <laughs> keyways not all wallowed out it's still tight on the shaft that's what she said all right now it is not going to come out now, but what this let us do is pull it away so I can... So this is not going to come out, but what it, what it let us do is pull it away so I can cut the outer race off that bearing. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I'm over here, probably. <laughs> well, that was a quick night. Yeah? What'd we do? One hour's worth of work? Yeah, you know, a little bit of jaw jacking, a little bit of wrenching, and then some more jaw jacking. Well, it didn't hurt that I already had the motor out and I already cleaned out all the majority. I won't say all of the walnuts. Nope, we did get a handful. But I got most of the walnuts out. Yep. So uh, from here, this thing's going to get cleaned more and parts are going to get reconditioned and touch up paint. And that's probably going to happen next weekend before I go to Princeton. And then hopefully I'll find a track I really like at Princeton. I don't want to waste, well, waste. I don't want to use the rip saw that I originally bought for the bullwhip on this sled. I want to use that rip saw on the Ultra, which is sitting right there. <laughs> which, um, means we're, which means you need so the another rip saw. So the bullwhip's still screwed. A rip saw or an inch and a quarter um, lightning bolt would kick ass. Uh, something between an inch and an inch and a quarter. Anywhere in there. Yep. Yeah, the bull whip. The bull whip's got a different 121 in it, Dennis. Right. It couldn't handle the inch and a quarter without major remodeling that I didn't want to do to that sled. Um. So, anyways, um, thanks for watching this, and uh, we'll see you on the trails. Oh, thank you, patrons. Thanks to the patrons. Patrons are the best. Patrons yeah. are super fans. They really keep us going, and uh, we really appreciate you guys. Yep. Uh, you'll notice a new name up there, Paul Cameron. Thanks, Paul. He's uh, our latest patron. I don't know if I can say everybody's name every time, oh, but I'm saying it this you time. Used to. I know. Well, I'm just saying he's he's the one that just. Does joined. this have smell o vision? <laughs> no. Oh, <man>. <laughs> 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 Future <laughs> episode. Grammy Grammy fuel pump rebuild. Yeah, we've been sitting here with our <laughs> eyes burning all night because of the freaking fuel in that tank. It's, that was horrible. <laughs> so thanks, patrons. Thanks yep. everybody else. Hit subscribe if you haven't. Yep. And uh, we'll see, see you at, at the trail. Or on the swap. At the swap. At the swap on the trail. We'll see you at, the, right. at, at some swap meet this fall. I'll see you when I see right. you. Hey. Right.
puppies. <laughs> Little addendum to the video. It's Saturday. We filmed that first part on Monday that you just watched. And uh, I think I need to drag this outside and do some pressure washing. Get her all cleaned up. After that, well, time to reassemble, I guess. All clean. Not even a trace of a walnut. 